today's throwback. Brief history of the hollowness of Godfathering an elected, quote unquote, executive officer in Nigeria. In the backdrop of the utterly wasteful political tragedy that is unfolding in River State, which this morning culminated in the sheer vandalistic, quote unquote, official demolition of the state's House of Assembly building, it is necessary to take to take a, to take a look at the greedy and historically ignorant it is necessary to take a greedy and historically ignorant politicals through a brief history of the futility of godfathering an elected quote unquote executive officer in Nigeria. Dr. Namdi Azikwe versus Professor Ita Eyo. Dr. Nambia Zikwe, the national leader of the NCNC from 1946 when Herbert Macaulay died, in the belief that as the anointed of the popular sage, he would emerge as the elected leader of government business in the Western region at the dawn of indigenous governance, stayed in the West to contest to be the leader of the Western regional government in the 1951 regional elections and he machinated the emergence of his fellow American educated minority Easterner. Professor Ita Eyo from the creeks of what is today's Cross River State as the leader of government business of the Eastern Regional Government. But when his electoral adventure came to naught in the Western region, he orchestrated the fall of the professor and he succeeded him in 1953 as the premier of the Eastern Regional Government until he was appointed as the first indigenous governor general and representative of Her Majesty, the Queen, Queen Elizabeth II, in November 1960. Chief Awolowo versus Chief Akintola, the former, that's Chief Awolowo, after having headed a phenomenally successful government of Western Region from January 1952 to the end of September 1960, voluntarily, I repeat, voluntarily, relinquished his elective executive office and swapped places with his AG National Deputy Leader, Chief Akintola, to go and assume the office of Leader of Opposition at the House of Representatives of Post-Independence National Assembly. In such a short time, the relationship between the Leader and the Deputy became ruckus, and Chief Akintola, on the threat of being defenestrated at the onset of of factions within the party and gory riots, burnings and killings, he famously called wet here, dousing, that is, dousing a human being or opponents' houses with petrol and setting them ablaze, was quoted to have said, wanted to the signet has been put on the voodoo man's finger of authority and, and he would like to see who would have the temerity to come and remove it. I guess that is the situation that is happening now in Rivers. Sir Amadou Bello, Sir Dana Osakwato versus Sir Abubakar Tafa Balewa. When in 1957, the office of the Chief Minister of Nigeria, the precursor title to the office of the Prime Minister that came into existence on the 1st of October 1960, Sir Dana, as the leader of MPC, was the natural person to assume that highest political office in Nigeria. But as a committed Federalist who always supported Chief Awolowo's, Awolowo's position on federalism, Chief Awolowo was the most prolific writer of his time on federalism anyway, in all the independence conferences against Dr. Azikwe's open campaign for over-centralization or unitarism, believed that the center ought to be made weak. So Sadano sent his deputy, Sir Tafar Balewa, to assume that office and he remained as premier of the northern region. However, even when the concealed imbroglio between, between them was not openly dramatized as between Zeke and Prof, Ayo and Awo and Akitola, it was rumored that there were squares between the political puppeteer and his puppet before the January 1966 school, which took their lives. From the First Republic to the Second Brouhaha between the late Senate leader Saraki and his godson, Governor Adamu Atta of Kwara State, 
to the plethora of disappointments in the extant Fourth Republic from 1999. It is delusional, I repeat, delusional of any megalomaniacal political to think he can reenact the log of Ashwa Jubala Ahmed Tinumbu, who himself humiliated the Afedifere grandees that, that installed him in 1999. I am Bola Oba.